What does addiction have to do with fasting? And the answer is everything. You take any drug, you give it to a person over time and they become addicted. Meaning what? They need more and more of the same substance to get the same feeling and they become preoccupied with it. Food can be an addiction, especially in America. Let's start with three meals. Let's add a mid-morning snack. Then maybe something on the way home from work. Then maybe something after dinner and then right before bed. Sounds like you're adding more and more substance food to feel your normal. Big problem is that translates into 61 pounds of extra fat for the average male and 51 pounds of extra fat for the average adult female, leading to a host of diseases, including 12 cancers. I've said this before. Guys, we don't need any more extra, especially in 2024, when likely you won't be faced with a famine anytime soon. The same pathways that are used and innervated in the brain for addictions to heroin and tobacco and alcohol are the same fibers for food. All of these substances release dopamine, serotonin, adrenaline, and the like. How do we reset these pathways? Try fasting. Turn them all off. Better yet, before you develop an addiction, start creating safeguards over these neuronal pathways by fasting. In this way, that self-discipline will literally translate into neurochemistry and physiology that will make you not only able to fight food addictions, but all addictions. Everyone should fast. Maybe not for extended periods of time in kids and pregnant women, but stop snacking. Try skipping breakfast. Don't eat dessert. Stop eating after dinner. Try to go with food for 16 hours a day as a start. As I said before, you can do it. You have enough extra fat storage on you probably for about 100 days. You can handle 16 hours. And when you do that with food, which you obviously need, you will safeguard yourself from a life of addiction. From a life of addiction, if I can get a teenager to stop snacking, to avoid dessert, or to even skip breakfast, I can keep them going and keep them from smoking, doing drugs, and drinking alcohol later on as an adult. This is really interesting. Many times, many pastimes in life are a practice for future scenarios. Sports are good for exercise, but you can learn life's principles through them, like discipline, sharing, caring for others, strategy, and the like. Sports are a playground for learning life's lessons. Fasting is the same way. When you fast, you learn delayed gratification, discipline, sacrifice, and avoid addictive behaviors. And the brain literally changes. I had a patient once who was in her early 40s that presented in liver failure from alcoholism. What was weird is that she had just started abusing alcohol a few years earlier. This is very atypical. Interestingly, she used to be morbidly obese and underwent gastric bypass surgery. She now was forced not to eat so much. And what did she replace that food addiction with? Drinking alcohol. The addictive behavior was never actually remedied. It just took on another manifestation. Every year for the last four years, we've lost over 100,000 people to opiate overdoses alone. We need to retrain our brains. We need to be resilient. And that discipline is not just esoteric, it is physiological. It is time to fast.